Psycho-Cybernetics by Maxwell Maltz, Chapter 15, More Years of Life and More Life in Your Years, Part 6, Nonspecific Therapy for Wound Healing Made Patients Feel Younger. Salves, unguents, antibiotics, etc. are used as specific therapy on wounds. Back in 1948, I began experimenting with a nonspecific therapy in the form of a serum, which I had hoped might accelerate the healing of surgical wounds. The result of these experiments were published in the Journal of Immunology, if you are interested in the technical details. The, hypoth the hypothesis which led up to these experiments was as follows. If you cut your finger, two different mechanisms within the body go to work and to heal the wound. Acting through the RES, one mechanism called the granulation factor stimulates the growth of entirely new cells to form new tissue which we call scar tissue. The cells so created are biologically young. Another mechanism, also operating through RES, acts as a control for anti-granulation factor. It is an anti-growth mechanism and inhibits the production of new cells. Otherwise, the scar tissue would continue to grow until your finger became perhaps as long as your leg. These two mechanisms work together simultaneously to achieve their just the right amount of new growth. One acts as a sort of negative feedback or governor on the other. If there is at any moment an excess of the growth factor, this excess stimulates the anti-growth factor. On the other hand, a slight excess of the anti-growth factor should act as a negative feedback to activate the growth factor, very much like the thermostat in your home maintains the right temperature. An excess of cold turns on the ferns to bring more heat and an excess of heat turns off the furnace to lower the temperature. This back and forth, nip and tuck sort of control is active while healing is going on, but discontinues when the healing job has been completed. Some overall control then gives anti-growth the upper hand and the formation of scar tissue stops altogether. Thus, there should be more anti-granulation stuff present in the final stages of healing in the scab which has already completed its growth.